semiconductor chip that's used for uh, DNA sequencing. It's manufactured by Life Technologies. This particular chip was used in June to sequence the DNA of the E. coli bacteria that was part of the outbreak in Germany uh, last year. That's just one example of, of the power of DNA sequencing. We have a story of these two kids who had their DNA sequenced uh, as part of a study at Baylor College of Medicine. And that information, the DNA information that was uh, revealed from that, from that sequencing work led to uh, the realization of a mutation that was keeping them, their brains actually from developing uh, or producing serotonin. So doctors prescribed a uh, serotonin supplement and cured them of the disease. Cool, and um, you guys are kind of kind of trying to promote just the future of this technology right now? We are trying to, to raise awareness of the power of DNA sequencing. Okay. Right now this is used for uh, research use at the moment, okay. but the long-term goal is to eventually get this into clinics, so uh, DNA sequence can be part of a regular health care regimen. So I could just go to the doctor and um, I'd get it, it'd be kind of like a checkup. You, could be, you, could, you would go into a doctor hypothetically and have your uh, DNA sequenced and uh, they would... Need to more accurate prescriptions and stuff like that. Exactly. It takes away a lot of the guesswork, especially if you have a disease that's genetically based. So cancer is a genetically based disease. If you had cancer, they would sequence your cancer tissue and they would, they would see what mutations are causing that cancer and potentially prescribe drugs that can treat that cancer. All right, thank yeah. you. No